Hi, this is Soft Cell Electrical, and I'm your host, John. This is bathroom remodeling tips number two, and deals with outlet location from several different approaches. The first item we're dealing with is a GFI that was going to end up directly behind where the new sink is going to be located. We can't just J-box under the sink because for one, it's a home run, and two, it feeds an outside outlet. The solution I came up with was to relocate the GFI under the sink and then run a jumper to a remodel box that will end up 24 inches to the right of the center of the new sink. This satisfies the GFI code requirements and also allows the safe relocation of the service outlet for the sink. The relocated GFI box was mounted sideways so there would be a minimum interference with the cabinet framing. From the round plug you can see that I used the notch and nail plate method to run the jumper wire. We'll take a closer look at this technique in the next example. Now here we had a very low bathroom outlet where another new cabinet and sink are going to be located. As I mentioned in the previous example, I used the notch and nail plate method for running the wire. This was actually very simple. I just ran a single jumper out of the existing box around a drill routed corner and then straight up the wall into a remodel box. In this next case, you see a square hole in the wall. That's where an outlet used to be. And you can't just bury an outlet. And let's face it, who wants a blank plate in the middle of their brand new remodeled bathroom? I certainly wouldn't. So what we did was to put a remodel box inside the closet located on the other side of the wall. There is still a blank cover, except now it's hidden inside the closet. The old hole can be patched and no one is the wiser. The final example we look at is what used to be a switch box for a dedicated jacuzzi tub. In this case, we hid the J-box in the closet just like we did on the previous outlet, except this box feeds over to what used to be a jacuzzi outlet. The solution? Simple. Just wire nut the switch circuit together and mount a box facing outside for a brand new dedicated outdoor outlet. A dedicated 20 amp outlet is always useful on the patio. As you can see, I used a bubble cover on this outlet and hidden underneath that cover is a 20 amp GFI. We have now gone over four different outlet or switch relocation examples. So I think that pretty much covers the subject. I'd like to thank you for watching and have a great day.